Teng Bunma. In this Cambodian name, the surname is Teng. In accordance with Cambodian custom, this person should be referred to by the given name, Bunma. Ting Bunma, Khmer, 1941-17 June 2016, also written as Ting Bunma, Thang. Bunma, and Thang Bunma, was one of the wealthiest businessmen in Cambodia. He was one of the founders of Thai Boon Rung Group and, along with Sok Kong and Meng Rettai, he was well known as one of the Four Tigers of the Cambodian economy after the fall of the Khmer Rouge between the 1980s to 2000s. Biography Origin Teng Bunma was of Chinese Cambodian descent. Bringing Cambodia back to democracy and back to business, 1990. 1997 Teng Bunma was one of the first Cambodian business people to invest significantly in Cambodia after the fall of the Khmer Rouge in 1979. Having spent much of his life in Thailand, like many of Cambodia's early tycoons he began cutting informal deals with the country's government in the 1980s, before the economy had officially opened. In the early 1990s, Teng Bunma bankrolled key battles in the continued war against the Khmer Rouge. However, Sam Rainsy began accusing Teng Bunma of gold smuggling and customs fraud, and placed him at the center of a wide circle of drug traffickers. In October 1994, this led to a showdown between the two over a Phnom Penh market development that had dispossessed local vendors. Thereafter, Sam Rainsy was dumped from the cabinet, kicked out of the Funsenpak, and stripped from his seat in parliament in June 1995. Teng Bunma is a key example of how the emergence of free market policies in the late 1980s and the rapid privatization of common resources and state assets legalized the businesses of former traffickers and helped them set up companies which dominate the Cambodian private sector today. In order to bring an end to the ongoing civil war, he bankrolled any groups that were ready to fight against the last Khmer Rouge warriors and in return he was awarded state contracts and licenses to monopolize particular types of imports. Thus, with his Cambodian business partner Sok Kong, chairman of Sokomex, he helped to fund the recapture of Palin from the Khmer Rouge in 1994, where he later opened his own casino. In late 1995, Teng Bunma was elected as the first president of the Cambodian Chamber of Commerce. Teng Bunma invested heavily in the private sector, especially in real estate, but also supported the development of public infrastructure, such as the construction of Hoon Sen Park in Phnom Penh in 1996. Involvement in the 1997 Coup Main Article, 1997 Cambodian Coup d'État Rather than chose a side, Teng Bunma was notorious for supporting a plurality of political actors in Cambodia from party officials to royalist party rebels, while others accused him of suppressing the voices critical of the Cambodian People's Party. 9. In 1994, he gave the government an interest-free loan to help make up a budget shortfall. He also donated a bulletproof Mercedes limousine to Hun Sen, and a $1.8 million aircraft to Noradam Ranarade, the joint prime minister between 1993 and 1997. It has also been alleged that Ting Bunma was also a financier of a band of politicians who launched a failed coup against Hun Sen in 1994, and was thought to have been close to Hun Sen's rivals within the Cambodian People's Party, Interior Minister Sar Kang and National Assembly Chair Chia Sim. Ting Bunma, then Cambodia's wealthiest businessman, traveled to Beijing on a special mission shortly before the coup of the 1997 coup d'état led by Hun Senator Ting Bunma later boasted during a press conference, 11, of funding Hun Sen's coup in 1997, providing also material help by lending his own fleet of helicopters to transfer troops to western Cambodia. Hun Sen acknowledged that without the financial support of Ting Bunma, his coup would have failed. In October 1997, Teng Bunma received a timber concession of 1 million acres from the Cambodian government. Facing international warrants, Medellin on the Mekong, 1997-2000. In June 1998, Thailand issued an arrest warrant against Teng Bunma on fraud charges. 
Police determinations took place also in Hong Kong in 1999, there Bunma had submitted a falsified passport for the registration of its enterprise to Tai Boon Rong. A 1996 article, Medellin on the Mekong, in the Hong Kong-based Far Eastern Economic Review, by United States journalist Nate Thayer, described Ting Bunma as a significant figure in Cambodia's international drug smuggling trade. In 1996, he was named in the United States campaign finance controversy during which the Chinese allegedly attempted to influence domestic American politics prior to and during the Clinton administration. Though he was blocked from entering the United States, Ting Bunma received a U.S. visa in 1998. In 1999, King Noradam Sihanouk publicly refused a luxury car that Ting Bunma had offered him, on the grounds that he was being investigated by the United States of America. However, Hun Sen himself intervened to award diplomatic immunity to Ting Bunma for falsifying immigration documents, which was considered abusing ambassadorial powers to evade the law by some human rights group. The Godfather of the Cambodian Booming Economy, 2000-2016 At the beginning of the third millennium, Ting Bunma had become one of the most powerful men in Cambodia, Cambodia's best-known and wealthiest businessmen with total assets estimated at around $400 million. At that time, he began investing in major construction projects worth more $50 million and to diversify his portfolio with a wider range of activities, such as growing cotton. He took an important role of leadership in the business community to the point of becoming a kingmaker. In 2000, Guadompa, who was the director of the Overseas Chinese Affairs Office office in Beijing, met Ting Bunma to ask for his assistance in controlling unruly mainland gang activity in the Cambodia, as the latter had become legendary among the Chinese Khmer community. Later Years and Death Ting Bunma passed away at the age of 75 on June 17, 2016 at 12.45 p.m. in a hospital in Phnom Penh by natural causes, leaving the 133-story Thai Boon Rong Twin Tower World Trade Center in Phnom Penh, located next to Naga World, unfinished. Legacy A Real Estate Empire Ting Bunma left being him one of the largest real estate empires in Cambodia. He owned the luxury Intercontinental Hotel in Phnom Penh, and Rasme Kampuchea, the country's most influential newspaper. His son's company, in partnership with foreign investors, owns the Caesar International Casino in Palin, a mining town in western Cambodia. Cambodian Chamber of Commerce Ting Bunma was elected as the first president of Cambodia's Chamber of Commerce in 1995, a useful position for networking in a country where wealth is concentrated in the hands of a small group of closely connected politicians, military officials and businessmen. The Forefather of Hun Sen's Elite Pack Main Article, Akhna In a 2015 paper, Teng Bunma was described as the prototype of the new Khmer Akhna by Mikhail Verver and Heidi Schnetzinger who explained that elite pact between the business and political elites through the Akhna system of Cambodia. Character Teng Bunma has been described as trigger-happy tycoon following incidents where he used or brandished handguns. In the first incident he shot out a $3,000 tire of an airplane on the tarmac after complaining that he was frustrated with the airline service. I lost my temper and control and had to shoot one of the plane's tires. I wanted to shoot more of them, to make sure that all were flat, but there were a lot of passengers surrounding the plane. In the second incident he brandished a gun inside an airplane and demanded the crew delay takeoff until his late friends arrived. Awards and Recognition Ting Bunma received an honorary degree from Iowa Wesleyan University at the request of his business partner, Ted Schoeng. 